Jones in the building right now. And uh, man, so excited about about your change, man. Yes, and about, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Your your message, your history, your testimony. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you went on after uh, after the whole uh, thing with Lupe. Um, okay. and, and, and explain, man, how that you know I guess what brought about the change exactly. We talked about the fact that you did change. Okay. That you that you went from yeah. uh, Lupe's label and things like that. But what exactly brought about the change? Okay. What happened was what people didn't see or what people didn't know. Mm -hmm. I was going home every night and I was being taunted by demons. Mm -hmm. Every night I would be scared to go to sleep at night because I thought I was going to die in my sleep. Right. And I knew I was afraid of, I've heard of hell. Mm -hmm. And I always heard these voices like, yo, if you die, that's where you're going. And I knew the life I was living. So I wanted to stay around people at all times and stay drinking and stay smoking and keep the lights on and keep mm -hmm. it. But I knew once, once it became silent, right. it was just me. That mirror and God yeah. and, and, and my demons who was taunting me wouldn't let me sleep at night. I was scared um, and I was tired of living that life. I wouldn't let people know that. Mm -hmm. That was going on with me for so long. Then it was like God would be talking to me all the time like DeMarco. You know that's wrong mm -hmm. but I keep doing it. DeMarco, don't go around that corner. Right. DeMarco, DeMarco is talking to me but I'm going against everything he was saying. But you have to know, I knew the consequences for my actions. Yeah. Then it came a point in time in my life. The, one of the most important people in my life was my friend, my best friend. His name was St. Nick. He passed away on his motorcycle. You know, he taught me how to ride motorcycles. And he would always say, Stones, you own. Dude, you big. You're, you're on, dude. Right. You are great. And I... I I mean, I had did the BT red carpet. I, dude, I did BT red carpet. I had videos on MTV. Crazy. I was there. Right. Like, I was the next uh, Source Magazine, Double XL. I was there. Hmm. I had just came from New York sitting down with uh, Mark Pitts was at Jive. He was ready to ink the deal for big money. And it was Mark Pitts at Jive. It was Biggie's old manager in LA. It was over at Def Jam. It was in between those labels finna ink this deal. I came home, it was getting ready to happen. But what first and fifteenth didn't know, and what Lupe didn't know, that it was a war going on in my soul. Yeah. And I couldn't I, I was right there at the edge and they telling me to jump, but they didn't not jump and send yourself off. Right. Come on, it's time. Yeah. And I got to the edge and was like, I couldn't do it, but they was pushing me like, it's time, brother. This is what we did. We here now. It's your turn. And I got to the edge. My friend passed away. And that was my out right there. Wow. I walked to him. I said, I, can't, I told Chill. I said, I can't do it. What's going on? You can't do what? I can't sign. I can't do it. I right. can't sign this big, this big, huge deal. And then I never forget these words. Chili told me the truth deserves no explanation. Hmm. That's what he told me. Yeah. And then I went off and I got married. And I, 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 I went through my phone and every every piece of temptation that was in my phone I got rid of it everybody that was causing me was a hindrance in my life pulling me down I turned it away and I said I'm done I took all my clothes I got rid of everything I had so much stuff man I was dude when I got done and, I, and I'm, I'm gonna shorten it up when I got done y'all I had nothing man hmm. I had so much worldly stuff if y'all I was had so many just torn I had Came off. I was just on tour right. with with Drake and Wayne. I was on tour with all of them, and you would get clothes for free and chains and jewelry. Girls, you had it. I had it all, dude. I, after my transition, I had nothing. Literally nothing. My closet was empty. God told me give it away, and He said I'll appoint you to the people who to give your stuff to. I was just walking up to people. Giving them clothes. What you doing here? Take it. Right. Take this. Somebody has stole my chain. I had this really big Jesus, the same one Jay-Z wear right now. Biggie was wearing. I had that exact Jesus piece. Somebody stole it from me. I had nothing. Yeah. I couldn't even pay my rent. I was almost homeless. 
And I just wanted to know God. And at the time, I wanted to do gospel. I was like, I heard that gospel music was the closest music to God. Right. So I got on Facebook. I typed something up like, yo, I'm walking away from music. I don't care. Whatever is the closest. I wanted to be whatever music was the closest to this God that That's I had you heard of. To do. Yeah. Give it here. And it was the title gospel. I stopped doing music for two years. And I'm, I'm going to end it here. Good. I stopped doing music for like two years. And I just sat in a place. I was at home crying and my fans were so upset they they was i mean well i guess they weren't fans but i mean these people who have been waiting on my album to come out for so long i would read their comments and they was cursing me out like how dare you wake us wait for this album and now you you found some god man f that and you know right. they cursed me yeah and i didn't know what i was doing i i didn't i didn't want to get married till i was old yeah i just <laughs> woke up one day and was like yo let's get married she like, what? Let's get married. I'm tired of fornicating. I'm tired of living like this. Le you want to rock with me? Right. Yes. L let's put a ring on it, and I'm tired of living like this. They say we shouldn't shack. I switched that. I had nothing. Wait, I, wait, wait. Stay right there, because cause, cause from what I understand, you said that that day, but then a week later, y'all ended up getting married. Is that correct? A week? Not even a week <laughs> later. That's crazy. Two days man. later. That's bananas, yeah. No, three days later, I was married. Wow. I was married. That's I was awesome. I was a married man. Yeah. And um That's I was a married man and, and long story short, I I I changed. Okay. I changed my music changed and then Road to Glory came about. Right. And everything Listen, y'all, it's real. The, if y'all, it's called "Road to Glory: My Story." If y'all have never heard it, that's that's the album that that uh, "Where Would I Be" is. On. Where would I be? That King, shout out to Keno Griff for playing this. This he played it, man. Every Sunday he yeah. played this song faithfully. I don't even know how he came across this record. <laughs> All I know is I woke up one morning wow. and the song was being played. I couldn't tell you how, but I did not write those words. I mean, I wrote the words, but it wasn't me, y'all. It was not me. And after that, it, it's just been on and popping from then. I gained everything back. Yeah. Yo, I got everything. My Man, I, I didn't know if I was coming or going. I, man, I, dude, I was in a place I had never been before in my life. Yeah. Man, I, I love it, man. You are listening to uh, the testimony of Gemstones. If you're just Sir! tuning in, Gemstones, formerly Sir! known as Gemini, formerly of uh, the Lupe Fiasco label, FNF. FNF. He is doing his thing right now, man. He just told you his whole story and how God can bring you out as well, no matter where you are, no matter how Hello. deep you're at. He can pull you out. Hello. If, if, if this brother was on the verge of blowing up, like seriously, on the verge, and he gave it up, sacrificed everything, Watch out. everything for a relationship Watch with the Lord. Out. That's huge, man. So we're going to take a break, a quick break. We're going to play something off of this, uh, this new joint. We oh. got to talk about Elephant in the Room, man. Drop it tomorrow. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, y'all. Listen, <laughs> listen, you guys. Brace yourself yeah. for this record. Uh huh. Listen to me, because I talk a lot. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need everybody right now who's tuning in mm -hmm. to close your ears and listen with your heart. If you're listening with your ears, you're about to miss something. Listen with your heart. This record is entitled Still the King. It's off my album that's about to drop tomorrow. I wasn't going to play it tonight, <laughs> but I got up here with Exclusive, Kino baby. and I had to do it. Jay-Z, I'm sorry. Yay, I'm sorry. <laughs> what you expect me to do? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go.